Hello everyone, we are back here once again. If you haven't seen the last video, we are checking out more Minecraft add-ons. This time we are checking out the paid ones. If you haven't seen the last episode, or the first one I guess, whatever, I checked out all the free ones, so if you want free ones and don't want to spend money, go check that out. Otherwise, I'm going to review some of the paid ones here. Now, I just want to quickly clarify something. So during last episode, at the time, there was about eight paid ones. And I bought all those already, like a couple weeks ago. But in that meantime, they released a bunch of more new ones. I'll show you here in a second. But basically, these eight on screen here were the ones I bought that we're going to cover. But I'm also going to get a few more, but I'm not buying all of them. My original intent was to buy all of them, which is what I did originally, but they added a bunch more, and I don't want to spend that much money, honestly. So sorry I'm, you don't get to see all of them here. I'm not going to spend that much. And hopefully you guys will see these mods today, or add-ons, well, they're mods, whatever, and decide on if you want them or not. Now, I know I'm probably late to this party still. A bunch of people have did it, but, you know, honestly, if you want to watch me, my opinion, I'm not going to bolt at you. I'm going to tell you if they're worth it or not. A lot of people love Minecraft. People are probably like, you know, they're always going to try to stay on the good side. But no, I'm going to give you the honest truth about all these. So there's a bunch more new ones. The ones that have prices on them are all the new ones. There's four up here at the top. And then there's four more down here. Yeah. So there's eight more. Yeah, that's a lot more to buy. I'm not buying them all. I might buy half of them. I think I've already decided which ones I'm not going to get. I'm not getting the mob armor. I'm not getting secure bunkers. I'm not getting the companion and I'm not getting max so if you want to see those four not getting them however I will buy the other four because those ones are interesting so yeah, let me buy these and then we'll start covering them all right so let's go take a look at these we got 12 to look at and I'm actually gonna do some smart this time I'm gonna make them in separate worlds this time not dump them all in the same world so that'll probably be a lot easier yeah we're just gonna go through these one by one all right now first up the first one we're gonna cover we're gonna cover a really simple one we're doing the XP bank one now, if you've ever seen, like, uh, Skyblock or something, that mod pack, basically, from what I understand, it's basically it's a giant storage where you can delete store XP. It's really simple. Put it down, and you see on the right side there, you got your stored XP amount if you walk up to it. So, let me just give myself some XP, and I got 1,000 experience, and if I punch it, it stores it all. Actually, let me go on survival so we can see, see it easier. So, yeah, you can just withdraw it all. Oh, you can, like, toggle it how much you want. Oh, but you put it all in. You can't really control how much you put away. Yeah, you gave your own personal one. So basically, this one on the ground is when you can share with friends. Everyone can use this. Or you can have your own handheld personal one. That's pretty, that's pretty nice. So yeah, first one's pretty simple. That's pretty easy. I like this. And this is really cheap. This is only like 300 coins. Yeah, so this is a really easy one. Not much to say here. Honestly, if I were to give this out of 10, I'd say this is like a solid 8. This is very useful. Not necessary, but this is a very nice quality you can have. You can store your XP and bank it. Don't have to worry about losing levels. I see myself using this one. This one's pretty useful overall. All right, up next, we're in our fresh world. And now this one, we're doing the uh, magic spell one or magic whatever. The magic mod. Yeah, whatever it's called. And, uh, well, the basis of it seems pretty simple. You get to use magic, which seems pretty cool. I'm a big fan of magic in games. Okay, so we need to find item and hostile mobs will drop it and we can find whisper guaranteed so yeah basically you're gonna want to kill an enemy and get this thing out of it i guess and that lets us craft magic and these are all the spells here i don't want to spoil them by reading them i just want to quickly okay yeah, i don't want to read all that it's all the stats we got magic attire okay so you got like your you can actually get actual mage armor to make your mana regen better and get more mana okay and it's decent protection rating oh let me tell you, the protection is good, but the drip is there. That is actually quite nice looking. Look at that. Alright, so let me go quickly grab all the spells. And uh, I'll set up, like, some, maybe some enemies. We can test them out. Man, these look pretty cool in your hand. Oh, look at that. That is, that is pretty cool looking. So, let's get a zombie. First, we got Ender Blight. Okay, it seems to be just an AoE effect. In fact, I think the... Oh, all right, it died. So it does do good damage. Yep, it's just uh, AOE damaging, radiant damage. That's pretty cool. All right, ooh, we got a staff for this one. We got a simple, a good old classic fireball spell. Up. Oh, that didn't go where I aimed. Okay, the aiming's a little finicky there. Okay, it curves the aim at a certain angle for some reason. That's weird. All right, up next, we got this another really cool looking staff. We got gravity vortex here. Oh, hey, these are the wisps they were talking about. Look at these little guys. All right, what's the spawn? A bunch of zombies, and we'll just... <laughs> oh, that's a big reach. I grabbed that guy from the water. Okay, it's not a strong pull. They can still kind of walk out of it, but still pretty useful, I guess. Up right, next, we got Ice Blast. So, probably another, like, fireball type spell. Maybe we'll just go... Oop, that was different. Ooh, I don't know if that was a lot of damage. You get a lot of health. Okay, it's had low health. 
That's just a little small cone in front of you. It's like a close range AoE blast. Alright, up next we got Illuminate. I'm assuming this probably just gonna be light. So you know what? Let's make it nighttime again. Yep, just a, just a simple light. This can be good for uh, when you're in a cave, you know, you see the top of a cave, boom, light. Alright, up next we got Levitation, which I'll probably have to take the roof off for this, or I'll just spawn some over here. Oh, it's for you! Oh, I thought I was gonna use it on the enemy. Okay, so by the way, I am just holding down the button, and I just let go, and it stops. Alright. Now the real question is, can you catch your fall with this? Hang on, I wanna try that. We're gonna go to survival, we're gonna try to catch ourselves. Ooh, that's actually very useful for that. Alright, well now I expect it, but very cool. Next we got a good old fashioned lightning strike. <laughs> so yeah, let me back up so I don't trade with them. Oh. Wow, that, that two shot it, I think. Holy crap, hold up. So, one, two, yeah, two shots. So you gotta be accurate with it, but it's very strong. That's pretty good. Alright, up next we got Mind Burst. Now we'll just cast on the ground first. He's... Oh, whoa. Oh, it's a, ch oh, it's a channeling spell. Oh, it charged up three levels. Oh, this is very destructive. Okay. Alright, yep, next we got Polymorph. Now, if I know what this is, it's probably just gonna change him into a sheep, potentially? Oh. No, he got turned into a little duck, apparently. And next we got a simple spell, Push. I'm assuming this will just... Oh, it's, is it AoE? Oh, it is. That's pretty cool. Be gone! Oh, hang on. Now, now we gotta try something. Hang on, hang on. Be gone! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, up next, we got a spell called Return. I think we're just going to read this one, because uh, that could mean a lot of things. We'll just read it. So, Return conjures a magic circle on the ground, and after three seconds, players and mobs within the circle will be teleported to your spawn point. Oh, this is like uh, this is like Magic Mirror in Minecraft from Terraria. That's actually pretty useful. So, if I stay in here, it should teleport me back to my spawn. Oh, yep, there we go. Alright, hang on, now we got the real question. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Alright, now the real question. If I go to a different dimension, and it still teleports me back to my bed, this will actually be very impressive. Because if no matter where I am, if I'm like stuck at like 10,000 blocks deep in the nether, I can't get out. If I could just... do this, and leave... Oh... Wow. I it actually lets you go through dimensions too. This is actually probably the best spell in this book, honestly. Alright, up next we got Summon Minion. Boom. Ah. Look at this little guy. Can I summon multiple? Oh, I can. And it seems to be the same one every time. He doesn't really follow you. He just kind of wanders off. Hey, you know what? Hey, if you wanted more golems like I do, uh, this is a way to get some golems. Alright, up next we got a spell kind of bleh, called Time Warp. We're gonna read this one. This one seems uh, interesting. Ah, so this is an art channeling spell. This will rapidly speed up time of day and night. So this, if you want to skip night and day, you could just, uh... Well, if you ever wanted to, uh, reset the universe, you could, this is the way to do it. Also, for that joke, I would play the song, but I don't want to get copyrighted, so if you know, you know. That's all. Alright, next we got a spell called Whirlwind. I'm assuming this will be like we summon a tornado or something. Ooh, whoa, okay, does it doesn't... <laughs> whoa! So, it doesn't do much damage, but we'll throw them up and down constantly. Alright, last one that we got for this mod is Wither Skulls. Now, this is a pretty demonic looking staff, and it takes a Nether Star, so this has obviously got to be the strongest spell in the book. Oh, it's a charge spell. Ooh, hold up. So, you can slowly charge it up. Oh, it spits out more skulls. So, oh, they seek out nearby mobs and explode. Maybe I should do it from the sky. There does a lot of damage. Um, I don't know if it's exactly worth another star for it, but if you want the flex, I guess it's worth. And yeah, honestly, this is another really cool and useful one. Really cool spells and very useful ones on top of that. I don't see. I give this one a solid nine out of ten. Very cool. Very well made. Very useful. So yeah, that's enough of the magic one. We're gonna move on to the next. In this one that we're doing, we're doing the uh, naturalist add-on, which basically adds a whole bunch of new animals. Yes, I know I got the book. I'm holding it. Game, thank you. Basically, this one's pretty simple. This one will just add a bunch of new animals into your world. Like, here we are. We got some lions here. And there are a lot in them in this mod. I don't think I'm going to show you every single one, because there really is just that many added. But yeah, please look at all of these eggs they have here now. So we'll flip through the book together, and if there's any interesting ones, we'll uh, spawn them in. Alright, we'll just flip through the book and see if anything of interest pops out. Uh, do fish type. So there is more foods here in this mod too, so we got fish. Uh, bears. Okay, bears are pretty important, so we'll grab a bear. Oh, we got grizzly bears, black bears. Do we have... Oh, 
I'm so stupid. I was gonna say, is there polar bears? We already got them in the base game. God, I'm so stupid. <laughs> so they will eat berries and go for beehives and eat honey. And we can get its fur. Beavers get pelts that make leather. Beetles are a thing you catch. Maybe we can make, uh, ooh, a way to make slow falling potions in the overworld. I should we know you can do that with the other thing. Duh, never mind. Alternative way, I guess. A crab, what we got? Crab meat in our food source. All right, deer. Ooh, wait, there's an albino deer. That's pretty cool. We got fireflies. Hey, look at that. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> look what he have here. Look at that. Look at that. See how easy that was? Honestly, it's not even Mojang's fault. It's all the people who cried about it that did for some reason. There's a bunch of people like on Twitter, so I'm like, oh, it's actually toxic for them. Like, yeah, just open your mouth and had to ruin it for all of us. Why don't you just shut up next time? Hamsters. Alright, this one seems interesting because I saw the hamster wheels in the uh in the menu. So if I just put this down in theory he would eventually go to it. Nope. Oh, look at that. And they go on their little wheel. Lizards and get Lizard tails, and they regrow their tails. So, food, uh, renewable fo food source, potentially. <laughs> if you could just keep chopping it off. You know, whatever you do. Mammoth, what the? There's a mammoth? Oh, we got a moose, you can get food, and it looks like antlers, too. What do antlers do? Oh, wait, you get a bunch of bone meal in a crafting bench, okay. So, way to farm bone meal, I guess. Uh, penguins, you can barter with them, dropping cod on the ground. Okay, hang on, let me get a penguin. Now, I'm assuming you guys will just drop something eventually. Oop. Potions of water breathing, both of them, wow. Yeah, I got ink sacks, some gravel. So it seems a lot of water related stuff. You can make an anti-venom potion, wait, hold up. Yeah, so I got poison. So it's just a glorified milk bucket, okay. A uh, whale, all right, we gotta see the whale. We gotta see how huge the whale is. Oh. Yeah, pretty large, but uh, not as large as I was expecting, but still pretty big. Didn't spawn them all, there's there's way too many to spawn. But we saw all the animals. They seemed quite nice, even though we didn't see them all. They got their own animations, they got their own properties, drops, foods, uh, functions. Uh, this could add some really nice ambience to your world, so I think overall I'll give it a nice 7 out of 10. Really good ambience. Not a ton of unique functionality, but will add a lot of wildlife to your world, so a lot of those empty biomes will feel much more full. So yeah, pretty nice in terms of just adding more life to your world. That's all it really does. But I can see some people enjoying this one. Uh, the next one we picked here is the elemental crops you see with the book. And uh, from what it looks of it, if you ever again play Skyblock, I think it's another mod inspired by that. So we still need this. Oh yeah, look at that. And this will help the elemental crops grow. So we got uh, the five different elements. We got earth, ender. <laughs> we got the four elements plus ender basically. <laughs> okay. So we got earth seeds here, uh, we got ender seeds here, fire seeds here, water seeds here, and then wind seeds here. So yeah, here's all the element stuff here. I mean, you collect these. Oh, I can't have something creative, but you collect these essence and you make them into these uh, bars, all these different ones. Yeah, all the armors are pretty, pretty mundane. These are all literally just retextured nether helmets. Look at that. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't know what else this one. This one's kind of, this one's kind of lame, honestly, <laughs> by the looks of it. It's just a bunch, it just makes a bunch of armors that are like, just have unique properties. That's literally all this does, by the looks of it. Okay, I can make a clay. So some of them make stuff too, but you can make uh, pearls, useful, I guess, slime balls. So you can craft some stuff, but that's really it, really. This one's, yeah, I think, uh, I think we're... We got the point of this one. You could just grow some crops, make some okay armor with properties, and you just... That's all it really is. This one's pretty lackluster, honestly. We finally missed. I figured all of them weren't going to be good. Honestly, this one I'd probably give like a 4 out of 10. This one, you could probably skip over this one. This one doesn't seem useful. You could just craft some stuff, and if you're going to go through all the hassle and make all the stuff, you might as well just go collect what you're making anyway. And I'd rather just have a fully set of chanted of diamond armor or something than messing around with these armor sets. I'd highly recommend skipping this one. I wasted my buddy, so you didn't have to. Next one we're doing is the mutants add-on. Well, I've already seen to found them. Well, it seems these just randomly spawn out in the wild. That's honestly uh, kind of lame and not original to the mod. No, again, this is not made by the same person, because I think with the original mod, you had to like summon them all regardless. Alright, frog is first. Oh, wow. That's... <laughs> That's ugly. Uh, I would fight all these, but these would take forever, so we're just gonna, gonna appreciate and look at them. Alright, another thing I'm worried about, obviously a frog didn't exist in the original one. I hope the uh, other variants, like the original like Enderman zombie, I hope they still look the same. So we got the Enderman here, we'll see if he looks like his original counterpart. No? Okay. That's kinda disappointing. I kinda like the old classic one, dude. 
but I mean, these are alright too. These are like HD, <laughs> I guess. And then we got Mutant Creeper. Then we saw the chicken before. And then Mutant Skeleton. What about him? Ah, uh, it's kind of boring. Not boring, just like, for like what it is, it just feels too complicated. Like, keeping it the Minecraft style would have been way cooler. Like, these are like really HD looking skeleton, kind of, but like he's got a lot of detail. And this is the zombie. Bro, that's. He's this Frank dude, this is actually kind of meh. Then we saw the wolf before, the wolf looked pretty cool. And we got Mutant Piglin. This one's actually the closest to Vanilla we've seen, actually. This one's pretty good, actually. I'd say this is probably like the only good looking one so far. The rest of them are just like too much. So with their skeletons, check him out. Yeah, look at it. I mean, don't get me wrong. These are cool, but it just doesn't fit the theme of like the original one did. Like, it, the original ones felt like they like, at least belonged in a way. But yeah, and we got squid. Okay, it's just a, just a squid. <laughs> and we'll check out the gas. We'll see the golem after. Oh, wow. Can I look at your face? Hello? Can I, can I look at your face, please? Excuse me. Can I... Can I, can I look at your face? Excuse me. Excuse me. Ma'am. Ooh, that is... That's an abomination. Alright, then I guess we'll check out the Iron Golem. Okay. He has a furnace in his chest. Yeah, let's be against the Wither Skeleton. Go get him. Oh, wow. He threw him. Wait, did he give me levitation for a second there? He doesn't even throw him. It just puts levitation. You really couldn't give him an actual attack? Bro, that's kind of lame. Oh, well, it still kills him, I guess, but... It could even... Make him actually attack. It just levitates you really fast. Yeah, mutant wither. Oh, wow. It's certainly something. Okay, I'm not wasting my time with this. We're just gonna... Alright, well, the mobs are kinda... Kinda meh. But the items seem pretty decent. So we got a titan beacon. So you put in your offhand, it gives you potion effects. So as long as you listen to your offhand, you got strength of regen, so... I guess that's alright. Uh, you literally hear it throw- I think it literally just throws an invisible ender pearl, And this teleports you only like, five blocks. And it can't even go vertically, what? Dude, you can't even go, like, go up vertically. It just blinks forward. What, what's the point of that then? Can I, can I at least go across like a, a block gap? If there's any small potholes on your way to your cave, you, I got you covered. You just gotta kill a mutant enderman for it. <laughs> Well, if these do anything else, I really don't care to find it, honestly. I'm gonna be honest, this one's kinda so-so. I'm just gonna go right down the middle, I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10. Some okay items, the creatures, I guess they're okay. They spawn naturally, most of them, which is kinda lame, especially if you're just starting a fresh world. I don't know if the original mod did that, like I said, but I'm pretty sure you always use the potion to spawn them in, so. And plus, a lot of them just don't look that cool. Like, there's 2 HD a lot of them, like the zombie was kinda lame. The pigment was really good. The gas tweet uh, they're all just too HD, honestly. But I, it'd be it would just be cooler, like I said, if it fit like the Minecraft style like the original did. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend this one. I think this one was pretty expensive too. I think this one's almost a thousand coins. So don't bother with this one. This one's meh. Unless you really, really want a challenge to fight them, that's like the only thing. Otherwise don't bother. Alrighty, another world, another add-on. I said it right that time. The next one we're covering is another pretty simple one. We're doing the Sparks Portal add-on. So for the source of it, basically you can set up a bunch of portals just for teleporting. And they work across all directions. Or dimensions, excuse me, not directions. <laughs> uh, portals of the same color are linked to each other. So so we can link up to 10 portals of the same color. Basically you have 10 greens, 10 reds, 10 blues by the sounds of it. And you can go to any of them. And you gotta build a standard, or 14 portal frame, 4 wide, 5 tall. And you have to color them. I'm assuming that's obsidian, so we gotta dye obsidian to get the colored portals. So it's still kind of expensive, that's fair. And that's all really is to it. Alright, that's pretty simple. We'll, we'll check it out real quick. Ooh, that looks... Oh, we can name the portal. Portal name. Uh, so now if I jump into this one, and you get an option where to go. So you gotta just stay here, or you go too. And you get like a flash of light of like the color. Alright, and uh, we'll walk up to it. Purple one. Across the dimensions, and there we are. But overall, this is a pretty useful one. Very useful for realms, I would imagine, for a lot of friends. Or just by yourself if you want to have multiple teleports. So yeah, this one I'll give a solid 8 out of 10. This one's pretty functional, pretty useful. I know I keep saying that a lot, but that's like, that's all you really need. This, I just need to be useful and shit. 
I would definitely use this one for a realm, 100%. This is like the, probably one of the best realm ones you can use. Another world, another add-on, and also another day. Because for you, it's only about a couple of seconds, but for me, it's a different day doing this because there's a lot of these to go through. And the one we're doing next is the utilities add-on, whatever the full title is. Basically, from what I understand, this is like a, it adds like vein miner and like timber mods, basically. Yeah, you get the vein miner, tree master, you also get some, uh, couple different tools as well, so. Oh, we got the explosive pickaxe. Okay, breaks random blocks. Basically, it's just a portable TNT stick, I guess. And then, yeah, you saw this one's end frame breaker. Uh, this pretty sure breaks end portal frames. Let me just, uh... And look at that. <laughs> you can pick up the portal if you wanted to. And next we got the multi-block pickaxe, which... Okay, so it's a pickaxe with fortune built in, but also, like... Ah, it breaks a 3x3 three three grid, okay. That's, that's, a, that's pretty good, actually. And next we got the Omni Tool, which I best on the look of it, I bet it's just a tool for every occasion. Mine. Drop a tree. And dig dirt, yep. And the spawner, we got a spawner wrench. And I'm willing to bet this was just so you pick up spawners, right? So you can pick up a spawner, relocate it, and it only has three uses. Alright, really quickly, I just set up some spawners. I just set up the three typically you would normally find, like, in some regular dungeons. Now, I said it has three uses, so in theory, if I pick these up, I should be able to get the mob. It wants. Does it make a pick what it is? Well, let's just try that first. What if I say skeleton? Oh, it, it changes it too. So not only can you pick it up, you can actually just change it. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but that is something you could do. So I can just turn this zombie into a blaze spawner. But it's kind of strong that you can change what it is. That's kind of crazy. And since we're already in survival, we might as well check out these last two. First, we'll do the tree. Uh, compat- compat- the word, whatever. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can't speak. So I guess it's a little thing we just toggle to activate or deactivate it. I'm assuming if I'll chop this tree, it'll all go down to one swing. Yep. Then we'll check out the vein miner. Okay, does work on the coal. Cool, works on that. Yeah, so it's just for ores. That's, that's pretty fair, that's fine. Oh yeah, so this is another pretty simple one. This just adds a lot of quality of life changes to your world. The changes they could do are very nice, like vein miner, tree timber stuff, being able to pick up spawners and portals. Those are very, very useful. Overall, this is another very nice utility one. I give this one a solid 8 out of 10. I could definitely see myself using this one for a lot of worlds. Vein miner and tree timber mods being a staple in like every mod pack ever. This is quite nice to have on bedrock. Alright, need another world, another add-on. This time we got the computers add-on in this world. Oh, if, wait. <laughs> Gaming chair? Hell yeah, I'm already interested. <laughs> it moves? Oh. Yo, I might, I might like this add-on just for the <laughs> movable chair. This is funny. Alright, the chairs aside, let's check out the actual uh, computer. So we got the RGB computer. It's denty, it just popped into place. <laughs> oh, psh. Your computer cannot be used while your players around you are in creative mode. I guess we get survival mode. I guess apps? Stats. What kind of stats can I see? Okay, being able to know your stats, the age of the world, and current time. Okay, mostly the world and like your stats. That's kind of cool to know. Now, what about the radar? Oh, you can scan for monsters? Uh, it tells you there's a drown. Okay, that one's kind of weird. I guess it's supposed to be from mobs are. Uh, weather. Now, this one could be potentially useful. Oh, so tell you what the moon phase is, and... Wait, does this let you change weather? Okay, that's kind of... That's kind of correct. Uh, sound maker. <laughs> okay. So, uh, we get a soundboard in Minecraft. And what about the other games? Trivia? Okay. She used to have a quickly answer. Okay, Minecraft. Okay, I get a prize? Okay, I kind of, sorry, I kind of locked in to do that easily. Ah, oh, I got, I got a piece of iron for trivia. Okay, <laughs> that's fun, I guess. Okay, the portable one's kind of useful. It tells you cords, biome, and the light level. Alright. Oh, uh, I mean, I thought it was going to be a lot larger for how, like, expensive this was, but it's just a computer with games and stuff. That's, uh... It's just apps, emails. I guess if you just want functional computers, this is about all it has. Well, if I had to rate this one honestly, I'd give it like a I'd give it like a six out of ten. Has some uses, kind of neat, but most of it's kind of like useless. I guess. Like, what's the point of like sending emails to like random mobs or your friends? Some uses, most of it's kind of meh. You know the drill? Another world, another add-on. This time we're doing the full version of the Dragonfire mod from last episode. If you didn't see last episode, you can go check it out. It's at the way end. They're all bookmarked in there. Basically, this is like the full 
paid version, as far as I understand. So we're probably going to skim through this one pretty quick, because you've probably seen most of the features already. So if I remember right, there's a good amount of dragons. Oh yeah, there looks like to be way more dragons in armor here. Okay. So I'm assuming, if I'm just going to guess, I'm gu it's just probably just more dragons. Okay, so it's about the same flying mechanic as where you're going. This one feels a little smoother, though. It's probably because this one's been more fleshed out, I bet. But yeah, it's about, it works about the same as the... Uh, the other one. Hey, uh, this is Editing Golem here. I'm just gonna quickly jump in. I'm just gonna save you some time. This is basically the same version as the free one. It's just larger, there's more armors and more dragons. That's really all there is to this. So if you wanna see the details, you can go to the last video. They're all bookmarked in the uh, video bar. And if you don't care, basically this mod just adds a bunch of armors with a bunch of dragons. That's really all there is to it. And that's all there really is this one. We already covered most of this before, so not too long spent on it. Oh yeah, I don't remember what I rated it before. I think I might have given it like a 7. Honestly, since this one's like a little bit larger, I think I'd bump it up to an 8 if I didn't already. I mean, if you want dragon mounts, this is definitely cool. But besides that, there's a lot of armors to collect, a lot of weapons. Definitely for a good collecting mod you can get. Or if you want to have like nice, really nice armor sets, you want really cool armor sets, that's a really great mod for this. Alrighty, another world, another add-on. We got the chest pets add-on. Try to say that two times fast. Chest pets, chest pets, chest pets. Duh, I can't even say it already. So, from what I understand, this is straight up just pet chest. You can craft your own pet, upgrade and customize the companion if fight. Oh, there's also, this also adds the mimics to your world, so that's pretty cool. Yep. And it gives us free name tag, and this is the control. Oh, this is kind of a, kind of a goofy little guy, I guess. So basically there's a bunch of hearts that will upgrade him, make him do different things. To so make him fast, or make him scare off creepers, make him faster. You can make him fight. You can give him a turret. Oh, there's different tiers of the turret. Wow. And you can die him too. And then you can also get a bunch of chests, or chest hats for him. Give him a top hat, give him a traffic hat, give him some horns. A little propeller hat. Flowers. Straw hat. Straw hat Luffy! Anyway, uh, chef hat and a pirate hat. <laughs> okay, so this is a lot of customization. You know, we're giving the straw hat because it's one piece. And then these, there's a bunch of different upgrade hearts we can get. So, beacon one's probably the coolest one. Ooh, whoa. Ah, okay, we click on it. Regeneration would probably be the best one, honestly. Having permanent regen wherever you go is quite nice. Oh, you can stack these. Uh, so maybe, I mean, you can stack these, but I don't know if it's the best option. Look here, it's will give you a random chest heart. Oh, so I just use it. Oh my god, I got another right one. It's just gambling, basically, <laughs> that you can get. And I think that's really all there is to this one. You get a little companion that has a lot of functionality. You basically just get a Skyrim follower. That's basically all this is. We're actually just turning the game into Skyrim. First, we got the dragons, and now we got a follower sworn to carry our burdens. If I were to rate this one, I'd give it like a... I'd give it like a... I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Not really, uh, conspicuous in the slightest. Would have been cooler with the mimics if they like randomly replaced chests in the world. Like imagine you go over to this village, right? You kind of just walk in. Over here you see this blacksmith. It's like, oh man, like a nice blacksmith. You walk in here. Boom! Mimic. Like that would have been, that would have been a little cooler. Just randomly replace chests in your world. Keep you on your toes, you know? Alrighty. Another world. Another add-on. And the one we're checking out is a really popular one from what I've seen like on TikTok and stuff a while ago. Is DecoCraft. Which from what I basically understand is just a giant furniture mod. Pretty nice looking bench. Whoa! This spot's where it dies. I'm gonna die store to be displayed. And these are buttons to switch. Okay, well, there's a whole. Okay, wait, wait, slow down. Hit a decoration, see what the price is. Okay, so we need that much color. Did I put it in here? There we go, I put it in there. And then we'll just select that. Craft. And grab. Oh, it popped off. And there's the furniture. And then switch tabs, we got storage, tables, uh. and chairs. Pardon me. Kitchen, bathroom. Miscellaneous. There's lots of different stuff. You got lights, entertainment. Definitely a nice decorating mod overall. But yeah, overall, like I s said, this is a very, very nice decorating mod. This is going to be for all the builders out there. I'm not too much of a good builder, but I would definitely love to have some tables and chairs in my house. You even got little stuff like you can have money, you got wash dryers, you can have a gumball machine. Hang on. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Hey, get back to work or you're fired! Anyway. I'm obviously, I'm not going to sit here and make every single one. This is a pretty good mod. I'm not going to go through all of them like I said. But, just looking at some of these alone, I could easily give this mod a solid 9 out of 10. This would be a great addition to any world. Definitely a must-have mod. Alrighty. Another world, 
And sadly, this is the last add-on for this video. And if you made it this far into the video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, because it helps you out a lot. I actually have no clue what this one's about. I'm assuming some tech one. Whoa, this one's fancy. Look at this. This one's on your screen. Cables, solar gen, wind gen, water pump, pipe, lava pipe, lava pump, machines, your mill. Okay, a lot of stuff there. We'll uh, we'll just take a look at some of the machines here. Well, first, since it says we need water and lava, let's get some a pool of lava and a pool of water going here, I guess. Uh, yeah, these are the cables. You have the lava and water pipes, and then the lava and water pumps. How do these function then? And then cable, cable, water pipe. There we go. Ah, this is, this is uh, some big brain stuff. This is this is uh, a little bit out of my my uh, quota here. <laughs> Oh, it connected that time. Wait, hold up. It connected. Wait a minute. Okay, so now that connected. Okay, now it's all connecting. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I just... I don't know. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is definitely... I can tell you now, this is definitely going to be for the redstone lovers out here, for sure. I suck at redstone. I got no idea what I'm doing here. I, I'm trying to figure it out as I go. So I actually have to click one at a time here. So gravel gives ores and these gems. Where... Ah, they pop up the side. Okay. I was expecting like an interface for it, but it's on the uh, item. Okay. So you feed it power, you feed it a liquid that it needs, and then you can function it basically. That's, I'm trying to get this now. So I understand all the power of water and lava now. I get that. So the mill, you put water into it. I'm assuming then you take that dough and to make it to a furnace. That gives you three bread. So it's like a cheaper way to make more bread. So that's cool, I guess. Uh, crushers, for its stone and the gravel and sand. That's pretty cool. And then the sif we saw you can collect gems and ores for us. And then the smelter is basically just a furnace with fortune because you get extra materials. And the foundry lets us break down all our tools. Okay. Okay, I understand now. It took me a little bit, but I figured it out. This is definitely a more complicated one. And like I said, this is definitely for the redstone lovers out there. So yeah, that's the tech stuff. Obviously, uh, there's a couple more, but I think we get the point of it. I can definitely see some people building some really good contraptions with this. I give this one another solid 7 out of 10. This is definitely for the brainiacs out there who want to make big machineries. And with that, that wraps up all our add-ons today. My overall thoughts about add-ons. I think these are very cool additions to the game for something you can buy and you can have these permanently for any world in the future. But I am kind of worried it'll go down the Bethesda route of like the creation club stuff. It's a bit of a double-edged sword because it is nice that other creators get to push out their content. I'm just worried about price tags about on everything. Most of these have been pretty cheap. Considering most of these are like about three or four dollars, it's not terrible yet. Let's just hope it stays that way and they don't get greedy with it. So overall, tell me what you think about all these add-ons below and tell me what you think about the decision of making these payable, I guess. But what do you think about the cheap add-ons they do because most of them are about like five bucks on average do you think it's fair do you think they should all be free do you think they, sh they should exist at all what do you think just what do you think in general tell me down below i just want to add one more thought personally as someone who watched a lot of mine modded minecraft growing up and couldn't get a pc this is definitely a nice opportunity for people who can't so maybe keep that in mind it's not gonna be wrong it's definitely nice to have something accessible to everyone but is it worth it at the price of a price tag overall i don't think it's terrible but as long as as like i said as long as it stays that way i think it's okay for now if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe all that youtuber stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one peace